Hi everyone and welcome back to Learn DaVinci Resolve. Today I'm going to show you another way of doing green screen cutouts. This is going to be using the Fusion tab and using the Delta keyer. This is going to provide better results. It's going to get you to where you need faster and I think you're just going to like it. It's a lot easier to use than the qualifier and like I said, I think the results speak for themselves in terms of how fast you can get your keen done. So I've got my clip, I'm on a frame, I'm gonna go over to the Fusion tab, oops, wrong tab, Fusion tab over here. And I've got my media in and my media out. So first thing I'm gonna do is I've got media one selected, I'm gonna hold shift, hit space bar, and type in delta, there's the delta key here, and this is how we define our key. So I'm going to go over to my background color selector, get my eyedropper, come over here to a representative section. Oh, wham, it's done pretty fast. Now let's take a look and zoom in, see if there's any touch-up work that needs to be done. So I've got some rough edges over here that I want to clean up. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit more. So while this would work, we really want to clean this up. So I want to go to my third tab over here to my mat and adjust my thresholds. Now I chose the entire threshold right at first so I can really cut this down. So I'm going to bring my light threshold up and my high threshold down. Now I'm just watching what's happening on the frame. If I go too far, you see I completely disappear. But I'm just going to play with this a little bit and get a good threshold on there. It usually is a pretty small range. Now, next down, down here is Restore Fringe. So I can bump this up, which is going to blend in a little bit better than those harsh edges. Usually you need very, very little on here to make this work. Erode and Dilate. So I'm just going to throw these off really far to one side. So you can kind of see the effect. So typically I want a little bit to the left there. See, now it's nice and clean. I don't have these scraggly edges there. And maybe I'll just toss in just a tiny bit of blur just to smooth it out and make it look good. Now, if you're running into a problem where your green screen isn't lit very well and you start getting little artifacts in some of the shadows, that's when you're gonna to need to play with clean foreground and clean background. I try to avoid these uh, just because they can cause, cause other effects that you're not gonna want. So if you can get there without touching them, great. If you need to, well, you have to, and that's, that's not the end of the world. So from my Delta keyer here, I'm gonna hit Shift Space and bring up a merge node. All right, got that. Now I'm going to bring in my background. So it's this talk show background. I'm just going to drop this in here and grab the output, move it over to the merge node. Now, by default, it made that the foreground, which is not what I want. So I can go to the merge node, right click on it and go to swap inputs or just hit command T. Now my cutout is where it's supposed to be and my background is there. Now we need to clean up some of these lights and things and get this looking a little bit better. So I'm gonna not select anything, I'm just gonna be on the panel, shift space, type in polygon, whoops, gotta spell it right, polygon. Now I can draw a polygon, which is gonna help me create my garbage mask. So I'm just gonna start clicking to draw this polygon get rid of all this extra stuff that's on the scene there and then close that polygon off and connect the input or the output from the polygon to the delta keyer but i need to make it a garbage mat so i'm going to hold down option grab the output drag it onto the delta keyer and then let go and you can see garbage mat is one of the options so i'm just going to select that now, by default, it does exactly the opposite of what I want it to do. 
So I need to come over to the control panel here and select invert. Boom, everything is looking good. The only problem I have with this particular uh, shot is putting the person on the front of this background just doesn't look that good. I wanna maybe try and make it look like there's a little bit more separation between the person and this background. And I think blurring this background is gonna help. So I'm gonna click on the media in two, hit shift space, add a blur node and just up that blur size just a hair so that looks a little more uh, you know more like a little focal blur on there and now we've got our delta here and we're all done we go back to our edit page everything is looking good and we have finished so using the delta here very easy very fast very powerful it's going to get you to where you want to be very quickly and it's not something to be afraid of a lot of people are just hesitant and in going into the fusion tab so don't worry about it i think you're going to enjoy doing it this way i think your results are going to be better and you're going to get there faster than having done it the old way so thanks for watching i will catch you in the next video be sure and click subscribe and click on the bell notification so that you know every time we post a new video Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.